Okay, hi everyone, good morning. Um, dear democracy practitioners, dear democracy defenders, um, have you ever thought what it's like to be born to Syrian parents in Sweden and living as a misfit all your life? Suffering from eating disorder because you couldn't fit in the society. Have you ever thought what it's like to be forced to leave your home country because of armed conflict, because of dictatorship, and keep looking for your favorite food all over that will never taste the same as your home country? Have you ever thought what it's like to listen to a big hit kind of music that is only sang by men and women are deprived of singing it? Have you ever thought what it's like to be trapped in a body that you feel you don't belong in? Have you ever thought what it's like to be circumcised as a young girl of nine years old by your own grandma? This is, in a nutshell, Mind the Gap. My name is Rasha Shaban. I'm a local from Alexandria, Egypt, and Gothenburg, Sweden. I work at the National Museums of World Culture of Sweden. I'm a living proof of Mind the Gap. I live with a gap between my home country and my new home country, Sweden. For those of you who don't know Gothenburg, it's known to be one of the most segregated cities in Europe. We started to look at our own local environment. What does it mean to live in a segregated society? Democracy does not exist. We make it. Democracy does not exist. We make it. Segregation is the biggest threat to democracy today. When we don't know each other, when we don't know our neighbors, when we don't talk to our parents, when we enjoy living in our own bubble, we are threatening democracy. Yet every four years we are surprised by the voting results or by a new conflict or by a new global crisis. In Mind the Gap, we believe, one, we all live with a gap. Two, everyone has the right to own and share their story. It's your right, your democratic human right. We believe in the healing power of storytelling. And we believe that we need to create a space for the unheard to share their stories, to be active citizens. We train people to be active citizens by saying we exist and this is our story. We believe that arts are open to all genders and we believe that the colonial past is still overshadowing the present. In Mind the Gap, we create a safe space for ordinary citizens, like all of us here, those from different socioeconomic backgrounds, from sociocultural backgrounds, we create this space to dialogue and we ask, how can our gaps bring us closer to each other? Since 2018, we have been organizing creative workshops and residencies in Europe and in the Middle East. Our latest production actually this year was for the first time we produced a music album sang by women, lyrics written by women of a very well-known type of music that has been existing in the Arab world since 2009, that has been exclusively dominated by men. At last, I want to thank every person who trusted Mind the Gap with their story, their trauma, their dream, their healing journey. Thank you for voting for them, not for me. And last but not least, I think today's winner is going to be a voice from Africa. Thank you very much.